Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today we're featuring the brand Elliot Brown. Now, to be fair, I have reviewed one other Elliot Brown model um, a couple of years ago. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Sammy, he used to be in the Royal Signalers, and he actually gave me his to review. It's one of those brands where they, they do a lot of work with the UK Armed Forces. So they do a lot of kind of custom um, pieces for different areas of the Armed Forces. They've only been around, I think, for just over 10 years now. But they're getting quite a bit of traction now with some of their watches. This one is, though, a sort of like um, a big jump for them because they're going up quite considerably in price. Um, this one, I believe, retails around about two thousand or two and a half thousand pounds around there. Um, so it definitely is a more kind of serious watch for them. But before I get too far into the review, I've got to say a massive thank you to the team at First Class Watches of Kenilworth. On super friendly, been really, really good, really uh, nice guys to deal with. I'm going to leave a link in the description to their website and at the bottom of the page now. All I ask if you do call them, please mention the channel. So, anyway, let's talk sizes. Now, it's quite strange. Um, I'm always kind of intrigued as when manufacturers put down the sizes of their watches because quite often they're not as what they say. This, they say, is a 40 millimeter watch, it's actually 40.8 millimeters but the crown is bigger at 41 millimeters. As you can see, there is a small overhang there. Now, the thickness of the watch is true to their word, 14 millimeters. The lug to lug is 49.5, and the bracelet size on this is 22 millimeters. Now, the dial. The dial has a whole lot going on there. There is a lot of information on this dial. Now, obviously we've got this kind of, sort of like a, a solid um, matte black going on here. Now we have all the minute track out here. We have a 24 hour indicator here. So um, it is quite interesting how they do this because that's, well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about hands first, standard minute hands. You've got your standard timekeeping hands here. They have got like a black finish to them with loom inside there. I must say the loom is strong with this one. It has got a really good amount of loom on it. Now, the, um, the only difference is this part here is loomed differently to this one. I think this is a blue, that's a green, so do be aware. Uh, it'll make sense in a minute. So, as I say, you've got you know, the Elliot Brown there, the Beachmaster, which is their, their thing there, and the Automatic. So, as I say, we've got these hands, and then we've got this GMT hand. So, obviously, we can read different time zones here. So, at the minute, just so um, make you aware of how this works, it's pointing here. So, that is six minutes, sorry, seven, well, seven minutes to one in the afternoon, so that's how you actually read that one. Now, the reason why you have a second indication there, it's all down to this inner rotating bezel here. Now, if I operate this crown here, you have this inner rotating bezel. Now, from what I can understand about it, it is, because what's kind of strange, if you notice, it's got H here, two, two, and it's symmetrical either side. And it's all on about military missions again. So if you have a mission starting at a certain time, you can actually, you know, kind of line it up with whatever time that mission would start. And then, you know, how many hours is let, you know, till the startup of that and how many hours into the mission you are. Now you can use this hand here and so forth. So it tells you how many hours till you get to here and then afterwards. Bit of a funky one, I've never seen it before, but you know, fair play, it is different and different is sometimes quite cool. So as we come past that, we have this lovely domed sapphire crystal. You can see you get a little bit of magnification there, you can see because it's domed, AR coating on there, so everything's good on that one. The actual bezel is a countdown bezel. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have, I don't know, say you've paid for 15 minutes on your parking, which is, you know, kind of really dot it down for a military watch here. You line that up with that, and as it comes down to your uh, deadline there. So that's how it's done. It's a 120 clip ble uh, bezel. Let's have a listen. Very nice, actually. Mm, is there any back plate? Oh, tiny bit there, yeah. 
tiny bit of back play, but overall that's pretty good actually. The actual insert, as I say, is loomed and it is a black ceramic in there so it is quite cool you've got a coin edge bezel arrangement on there which is um makes it ever so easy to grip now as we come past that we've got a real kind of brutal side work on there i would have to say it has been bead blasted um i am surprised this is just a personal thing to hide the kind of thickness it's not particularly that thick I would have put possibly a bigger bevel on here because then you'd only read the flat spot between. But there you go. So it kind of really solid purposeful. One thing I should say is you may have noticed these strange screw heads there. Now, when you buy this watch, it comes with a host of screwdrivers and pin pushers. And you do get the screwdriver for actually undoing that. So that's to make one, you know, to make you aware of that. When you come over to this side, um, you have got these two different crowns. Now, they have been nulled, um, so they, you can grip them, um, but I would say they are a little bit small, a little bit awkward, especially the minute hand, uh, the time setting what crown down here. A little bit awkward. It is a screw down crown. This watch does feature 300 meters of water resistance to it. Now, as we come around the back, we have this nice kind of engraving there. I believe um, they will actually... I think they'll laser etch something in there, a certain amount of characters for you, if you so desire. Now, underneath there, there is the SW330-2. Um, now, basically, it's a solid movement. I had it on the time graph. I think it was coming at plus seven seconds a day. Now, to be fair, that is just in the position I have it. So I dare say that might level out as you, you, know, you're up, you, know, you move your arm around throughout the day. Now, it does feature 56 hours of power reserve. I think it's a 25 joule movement, and it's just solid. Yeah, you can't really fault them at all. Uh, I do like the fact, though, that they do call it an SW300. Uh, yeah, they don't pretend to, you know, it's an Elliott Brown caliber, blah, 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 blah. It is a proper SW300, 330 movement, so fair, hats off to them for that one. Now, the actual bracelet, the bracelet is a very kind of solid looking bracelet. Um, looks like it is a proper screw bracelet as well, which makes it much easier to adjust if you wish. But one thing I would point out also in the box, you get this Tropic strap with um, a, yeah, plenty of micro adjustment on there. So you can actually swap this out. I've got a theme personally, I think it be, would possibly be better on this one, uh, I think anyway. Uh, quite an interesting kind of motif they got on the back there as well with the ropes. So anyway, um, the clasp itself, quite um yeah you know, uh, it's got their nice engraving on there this um is i think it's quite a generic strap you do see a few of these around but it does come with the added benefit if i'm right if i pull this back will it do and you have my uh, you can see as um the safety tape on there it's a little bit stiff at the moment because it's got some tape on there so you do have not only micro adjustment on there which is quite impressive you've got a real fine micro adjustment on that as no um doubting that but you also have the kind of dive link extension and press that and you've got that there as yeah that's how you release it let me put it on my wrist so you've got an idea how it looks but zoom out here quick wrist check i'm wearing my wife's uh, uh seiko tuner black edition and bob he's gone for a black watch as well he's gone for the new tso c star 1000 um so that'll be quite an interesting one now on my wrist that is how it looks. It's not too bad, actually. It's a little bit chunky. There is a fair bit of weight with this one. I'm not going to lie. It does. It, you know you're wearing a solid watch with this. But overall, it's something different and kind of quite cool. Anyway, guys, any questions, leave them in the comments below. But most importantly, stay safe out there. Bye.